Good morning. Today is the 30th day of December, the next to the last day of the year, 2020. As we're taking pictures this morning of the sunrise, which will be very colorful, you will notice elements that we have seen from many other videos in the last month. Um, messages like, um, well, stripes in the sky, and like uh, clear skies, and cloudy skies, and colorful skies, and fire in the skies, uh, contrails, crows, small birds, geese, dark clouds, bright spots, yellow, red, blue, white, purple, gray, black. I already mentioned the stripes and the bars, uh, reflections, uh, light extinguishing darkness. Um, all of these elements are in this group of pictures. And to me, that indicates, well, the last time we saw a lot of elements coming together, uh, the name of the video was, It's All Coming Together. Well, it is all coming together. But this time it's punctuated with many exclamation points. Uh, the colors are more vibrant. The blacks are more distinct. The dark clouds are darker, the bright spots are brighter, uh, the colors are more colorful. The only color I don't see is green. Um, well, there's green on the grass, I guess, but you don't see much grass underneath all that ice and, and uh, dead grass. But anyway, as we go through this video, notice there's a contrail right there. There's some fire in the sky. There's some dark clouds right there. There's some bright spots right there. Uh, it's all coming together. And we've been focusing, since I've started my prophetic videos, we have been focusing on the election of 2020. And the election has been very tumultuous. And now it's all coming together. I mean, it's the end of December already. I, almost two months since the actual election day when we're usually finding out who the winners are. But it's been almost two months. In fact, it'll be over two months before the crescendo actually happens. And I believe that'll be on January 6th. President Trump has called for all patriots to meet him there, or not to meet him there, but to be there, to show up in Washington, D.C., to have a rally, protest, and a show of support, especially showing it to the Congress, who will be meeting in the Congressional building to decide the election. And I plan on being there. It'll be December 6th, it'll be a Wednesday. I'm gonna take a train down there early in the morning. I'll be there for three hours and have to get back on the train and get back to get home late at night. And that event will be what I have named this video. I have named this video Crescendo, which is the loudest point reached in a gradual increasing sound, or the highest point reached in a progressive increase of intensity. Notice the definition uses the word progressive, which is a dirty word as far as I'm concerned in the political arena because the progressives are destroying our country. And so, the crescendo is coming on the 6th. 
of January. It'll be the climax, the culmination, the turning point. It'll be the crossroads of America. It'll be the milestone. It'll be the um, critical point, the juncture, the precipice. President Trump has used the word precipice. Uh, he must bring America to the precipice before people will actually open their eyes and see the truth and change their ways. And I believe we're at a precipice, uh, the pivotal point, the turning of the tide. This coming moment in history will be, will define our future. And that moment is upon us. We will either accept the election fraud and allow Biden to drag us into the Great Reset and global totalitarian rule and slavery, or will we once again throw off the bonds of slavery and restore society to freedom, liberty, self-rule, law and order, prosperity, and peace. January 6th will indeed be the crescendo of American history. God says freedom will reign in the United States and will spread throughout the world. Thank you, Jesus, for telling us ahead of time what will happen. And Lord, give us the courage and the strength to go through the battles that are required for it to happen. Lord, thank you for another opportunity to share your word with those on YouTube. Thank you for speaking to me through pictures, through signs in the sky, messages in the sky. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for promising to save American freedom and to spread it across the world. God bless all those who perish in the battles to come to win that freedom. And thank you for those that are willing to give their lives. Thank you, Jesus, and God bless those.